The presidents of the Chamber of Deputies and the Senate of Brazil have been re-elected. This marked the beginning of the work in the Parliament of the Latin American country. Our correspondent in Chile must tell us from Sao Paulo the expected relationship between the Parliament and the new Lula da Silva's government. began its activities with the re-election of the presidents of the two chambers. In the Senate, Rodrigo Pacheco prevailed over Bolsonarista Rodrigo Marinho, who, if elected, promised the impeachment of the Supreme Court judges investigating the former president's circle. For the ruling party, the result was a victory. It's the victory of democracy, the victory of a pacifying environment, for the opportunity of the three powers to work together the Senate to work in an independent way and with a commitment to Brazil. Today's result has a powerful force to place Brazil in conditions of social and economic growth. In the Chamber of Deputies, Arthur Lira, who was an ally of Bolsonaro during his government, will remain in the presidency, but obtain pro-government support as a result of the negotiation to approve the extension of the social investment ceiling that will make possible the payment of subsidies under the Bolsa Familia Social Plan during the first year of the Lula government. Lira, like Pacheco, criticized Bolsonarista invasions of Congress. In this Brazil, there will be no more room for those who attack the powers that symbolize our democracy. The result was within the progressive's calculation. The upcoming dispute in Parliament will be the tax reform proposed by Lula. In addition, a sector of the Senate is pushing for a parliamentary commission to investigate the crimes of Bolsonarismo, while the former president's circle intends to counterattack by filing impeachment petitions against members of the judiciary and even against the executive branch. I believe that Pacheco's re-election is good for the current government and a defeat for the Bolsonaristas. The same with Arthur Lira, despite his coming from the Bolsonarista base. However, I believe that after the elections of last October, we will still have some favorable context for the Bolsonaristas. Despite the good start of the legislative branch, the ruling party will have difficulties to deal with a conservative majority Congress where Bolsonarism took space from the traditional right wing in the last election. Ignacio Lemos y Juliana Sif.